Hey guys, it's the kid from Here's Your Breakdown, and I'm making a video about Rich. So yeah, um, in this video I'm going to talk about Rich's drumming, Rich's style, and what Rich does in the band. Which... I don't know what he does. Fuck. Okay, never mind. So yeah, um, I'm going to talk about Rich in recording. So, pretty much, you know, he's a bee's ass. Like, you know, he'll do like a hundred millions of takes and you know picks nothing out of it and just goes I'll do it again and you know they take the best out of me napping because you know I mean it's not my fault I'll nap because Rich takes long doing drums <laughs> I'm joking but yeah in all seriousness he's a really good drummer and <clears throat> he does what he wants he you know he knows what he wants and then, you know, and most of the time, what he wants tends to be really good for the songs. Sometimes it's kind of like, it's cool that he's a perfectionist in a way because we kind of need it. Like, it makes, it kind of completes us. Because me and Aaron just takes like, what, a couple of takes and we're happy with ourselves. Rich is actually like really picky and, you know, he actually wants the good thing and he does the good thing. And I'm quite lucky to have him. So yeah, Rich is like one of my best friends, like him and Aaron. They're like my big brothers. Like whenever I'm in trouble or I got something, you know, something wrong, I'll go to them, I'll ask them if I could do this or what I could do, you know, give them, you know, they give me advice. And, you know, cause I'm the youngest in the band, so they pretty much like tell me what to do. Like, you know, like big brother kind of stuff because I'm like the oldest in my family and never really had a chance of big brother and they kind of provide it to me and Rich is kind of one of them and so yeah he's like one of my best friends and you know he's he's he's, he's all right <laughs> so yeah I'm, I'm gonna talk about Rich's role in the band um he's a singer no I'm joking so I'm, I'm the singer I'm, Awesome. And <laughs> no, he's the songwriter, he's the drummer, he's the dirt member, he's the bee's ass. Like, you know, he's the he's the true definition of a bee's ass. If bee's ass makes it in like the English dictionary, he'd like they'd probably put like, a picture of him there, like, you know, like you know, a definition of a bee's ass and like got Rich's face is like yeah. I think I think that would come true, like, you know, in the near future. Other things about Rich, well, he's obsessed with the Apple Watch, like, you know, like, he actually wants the Apple Watch, like, I've got nothing against it, but he just goes along, like, goes on with it, like, so much, like, oh, this Apple Watch can do this, and Apple Watch can do that, and I'm just like, dude, I don't care, I'm not getting any anyway, and he he just says it, and you're like, I'll, I'll tell you anyway, and I was like, oh, shut up, man, and he loves bagels, so ladies, if you want to date him, just take him to, like, you know, a bagel, a bagel place or something and you know he, he he will love you plus he always says gay for women he's like well, i'm gay for women bro and i'm just like dude shut up and this is one time where um it's embarrassing but i'll tell you anyway um we were just chilling in hyde park and there's this one guy that came up to us and asked if we were gay and then i was like no we're not gay and he was just like yeah man for women and then Poor guy, well, poor weirdo, he just went, so you're gay for women? No, so you gay women? And I was like, no, man, we're gay for women. And then he was like, so you like gay women? And I was like, I was like, dude, shut up. And then he kept going on saying, no, gay for women. And then I was like, oh, no, we're not gay. And then the guy was like, so you used to be gay women. I was like, no, we're not gay, shut up. And then ever since then, I've, um, I'm really scared of going out with them in the public because they always think we're gay couples and like you know it's yeah. fair enough it's him like he looks gay and I look I look pretty, pretty straight I'm like I'm, I'm a heterosexual man like you know that's into heterosexual girls nothing gay like there's nothing wrong with being gay but I'm not gay so yeah to conclude um Rich might be the dopiest guy you'll ever meet, but he's the most, you know, most friendly guy ever. Like, you know, I, 
I like I care about him so much, like him and Aaron, because you know he, I care about him as much as he cares about us. Like, you know, it's rich. Like, he's he's my best friend. He's our best friend, and you know, there's no one like him in this world apart from Travis Barker. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> But like yeah, this you know he's a pretty he's a pretty cool guy. He's a he's a pretty unique guy too. Like you know, he's my bro. Him and Aaron are my bros. And you know, I just enjoy his company. Enjoy you know, no homo. <laughs> I enjoy hanging out with them, hanging out with them, like going for sushi and stuff, and like pretty much being a duck for the whole night. Like you know, I can't do that in my normal life. And you know, when I'm with him, I, I, I can get to do it like all the time, every second. Whenever I'm with him, I'm always up because of him. I blame him for being, you know, for me being up and for turning my girlfriend up as well. Like now she's a dub and I blame Rich. It's all Rich's fault. But you know, I love him to bits, like him and Aaron. I love him to bits because you know, they're my bros. So yeah, thanks guys for watching, see you guys soon for more videos, videos.